Okay, so this video is going to be on something I was thinking of. It is about uh, relationships, but what I find unique as an INTJ and love to hear other people's thoughts. It is on the concept of the intellectual spark that you see in others' eyes. So in my uh, experience, I found that, and still find, there are certain people that there's a strange look in their eyes in a good way that it connects between the two of you. And it's not a, a connection about necessarily attraction um, on a relate, uh, romantic sense. Um, and I think this is something that would be interesting to hear from other INTJs that because we are so tied to uh, our intellect or our intellectual understanding of things, as well as um, the ability to create or build, um, when we come across people that seem to have that similar passion or interest, we're kind of surprised and that doesn't, that's not meaning that the rest of the world doesn't have this. Um, it just means that, uh, a lot of the time we go through our everyday where everyone just keeps their head down and myself included. And we rarely get those exchanges that are actually, um, stimulating or interesting. And, uh, Speaking to that that I found interesting. I'll give you an example uh, Actually two examples one would be I had a friend of mine who was dating a person and back when I was single and this person's friend was Someone I had never met and just during the quick five minutes of the initial interaction I noticed there was like a different type of way that he uh, looked at me when discussing things. And it was curiosity, it was interest, it was like his head picked up and kind of cocked to the side and, wow, oh, this is a different conversation. And also I found that it brought that out in myself where it's like, oh, we're talking on the same plane here. We're not just doing simple niceties. and. In that case, it was ended up being a romantic relationship and it was very interesting. We had great conversations um, and very uh, interesting in how our dialogue went. We didn't stick, sit around with what are we going to watch tonight on Netflix type thing. Um, but there is that uniqueness that you almost pick up on um, at first you don't think it's there because it's like, okay, well, maybe it's not because a lot of times we don't see that again in our everyday, but then we notice that it's happening continuously that this person is on a similar, uh, interest level or, uh, mindset. And that's something that is rare. So the other op or other one that I was going to bring up is I had a particular um, very executive, like he was a president of a company that I worked at and I met him for the first time and it happened to be just in an elevator. And what I noticed is that he walked up and I had been working on a couple of projects that he had had to uh, be part of or was part of. And but he didn't know me. And so when he walked up to me, he came up, shook my hand, you know, said hi. And uh, he said, he said his name out. And immediately it brought out something in me where I was standing that much taller and that I had an immediate respect for him. And we can, I guess we can call it presence in a sense um, because you, in a social setting, you're feeding off people. But what I noticed with that particular situation is that we ended up in the elevator together for uh, multiple stories. And 
what I loved is that what he displayed was res true respect. We talked in short sentences back and forth. Uh, he expected me at the level that he was at and I loved it. It was great. I didn't have to sit there and think around ego or trying to make sense of where this person is coming from. He presented himself as him and it was so there was a certain, again, that interest of the spark in the eye of not flirt. It's not a flirty spark. It is something that is uh, intelligent of two individuals that are somehow working on a similar wavelength um, regardless of position. And what I found out with that was the amount of amazing uh, reputation um, building that meant or that felt in me um, with regards to him but also with myself because then working on other projects with him I understood the baseline of how he liked to speak and that it was right up my alley and how quick he wanted to chat um, he was sincere, he was genuine, he was uh, direct, and but always he had that direct eye contact that was unwavering and very um, interesting. So I want to finish this video off by saying there really is something to be said about um, that type of um subliminal communication between two people and eye contact especially with INTJs I find there's like a it's a weird spark and it's again I can't say enough it is not necessarily romantic a lot of times it's not and but it's the respect that comes in and almost looks like a big check mark in each other's brains where it's like Yep, I respect that person and vice versa. And therefore, there's an unspoken un, um, understanding that gets rid of all that uh, background type of schmoozing that needs to take place in um, potentially relationships with other people. So love to hear what other people have to say. I'd love to hear other people's comments on whether they've had experiences like that in the past as an INTJ, both male and female. And uh, thanks so much.